Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to use the SurveyMonkey connection tool. So this is a really cool tool when if, if you want to connect your SurveyMonkey surveys to Keep or Infusionsoft and be able to have like tags applied when they do it, be able to add contacts that take your survey into Infusionsoft or Keep, or be able to store their answers inside of custom fields as well. Um, so before I actually show you how to set this up in the plus this tool itself let's show you an example a real life one that I'm using right now where this would be really really helpful and then that way you can see how it applies to the actual survey we're creating in SurveyMonkey and what kind of things we're pulling um, into plus this so that you're very very clear on how to set these up for yourself so let's go ahead and look at one of these little surveys I've set up we're going to use it for a little lead quiz so this is something where we'll send an ad on Facebook that'll be like, hey, are you looking to use an SMS? But you're not sure like which, how to use it in your business or what kind of strategies you might do. Go ahead and take this little quiz and we'll help you with some uh, templates and blueprints and uh, video training on the exact SMS strategies that could benefit your business. So they'll come over here and they'll be like, cool, let's go ahead and take this quiz and we'll just try to make it as engaging as possible so that they actually fill this thing out. So they'll just give us a couple of uh, things of information um, around like what they might use SMS for. And they'll just pick some of these answers. And what's cool is they can kind of give us some segmentation information. And what we'll do is when they give us their email address, we want to be able to add that contact into Infusionsoft for us. And then we want to be able to trigger a different follow-up based on what answers they gave us in that survey. So that's kind of where plus this will come in. So it'll look at the survey that we set up in survey, survey Monkey, and it will let us apply different tags uh, based on their answers. And then we can use like a decision diamond here to filter which follow-up they should be getting. So this is a really cool way to make personalized content and make it very targeted to your prospects and your leads needs and be able to collect a lot of leads at the same time which is cool so let's go ahead and look at plus this now um, so here we go you're going to start by just picking the survey from survey monkey and then you're going to say cool what's the question that contains the email address we just need to know their email address so we can create that contact if we need to and be able to apply the updates to that contact record so that's why we asked for that first then we can add in our questions that we want to trigger different like tags based on that or sort the results. So when I set up this lead quiz, I have like a certain order. If you ask this question and you get like a products one, you get a different question as the next one and so on and so on. Eventually there's kind of like the last question in that tree to tell me, okay, this is the actual, um, based on all the answers they've had previously, this is the one that triggers the actual follow-up that I want to send. So I don't have to do it for every one of these. You can if you want to, but you can make them really simple if you want. So let's say, for example, this appointments one is kind of like one of the key questions in that tree that they go down. And this will tell us, cool, This we have an answer for people who have made it all the way to this response. Uh, we can store that in a field. So if you have a field you want to pick, you can do that. Um, in my case, I just want to apply a tag. So we'll say, hey, if appointments are super crucial, we're going to um, apply a tag for, uh, let's see, lead quiz. And we want to do the one for sending the appointment confirmation results. And so just so you have some perspective here, um, what this is letting me do is when I have my campaign now, I can go, cool, if they have this tag, Let's send them the one for the appointments follow-up or whatever it might be, right? And that's all you're really doing for this setup. It's really easy and simple here. So maybe we have a second question. Let's do if speaking at events is a big one. And let's do if it is, yep, speaking pays the bills. Uh, let's do quiz an uh, answer for that. And we'll do our text opt-in. So you can set this up for as many as you need, but this is a good enough example for you there. And then the final thing I usually would do in this is I would apply a tag when they complete the survey. So if you look at this little tag here, that's what I'm looking for. So we might have like a tag for a completed survey. 
and let's go down to our uh, completing completed survey tag whatever it might be for that so whatever tag you pick here you want to put in there all right and then we just give it a name survey monkey demo we'll click save cool and then that is all you have to do for the plus this setup the final parts I'll just review really quickly here are that you'll want to have the tag for when they complete the survey. That's what kicks it off. You'll use those individual tags for those individual questions to use in your filters for your decision diamond. So when you set these up, if their tag contains and then you find the right one for that, they go to the different follow-up based on that. And then that's really it. So hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always find us at help at plusthis.com. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.